Carabello Stackhouse in the backcourt as we begin the second quarter. Out there with O'Shea, Stakos, and Joey Natale. Stackhouse kind of bobbled that one. He feeds it in to Carabello. Carabello takes it to the middle. Stackhouse from the three. Oh, rattles around, doesn't go down. O'Shea with the rebound. Gets blocked by number four, but he gets it back. Kicks it back out to Carabello. Carabello takes it strong. Oh, the left hand. Leaner doesn't go in, but Natalie grabs the putback and a 15 to four lead with seven and a half to go in the half. Knights playing well so far. Stackhouse giving number 12 the business on the defensive end with the quick hands. Stakos out on his man. They call a foul on Stakos. I'll take that foul every day and twice on Sundays. Come on, Monala, put your hands up. After, Let's after go. church, of course. There's a three-pointer. It was it a right, three? Max, no, it's a two. Get it started. Fifteen to six. Max with the bucket from deep in two-point land. Stackhouse goes right through number twelve. Gets it to Carabello. Number twelve goes back, gets his shoes back as he left them in the dust. Stackhouse out to Stakos. Stakos bounces it in. Oh, and he finds a cutting. Stakos into O'Shea. O'Shea with the cutter. O'Shea with the assist. And Stakos with his first bucket of the game and a 17 to 6 lead. Number one gets it out. Carabello Stackhouse there. Max kicks it back to number 12. Good defense by Natalie. No good. O'Shea grabs it. Oh, they're on the run. Stakos takes it to the basket. Stakos lays it in. Draws the contact. There was no call, but it doesn't matter. The Knights with 616 on the clock of a 19 to 6 lead. Unbelievable. O'Shea rides his man wide right, so he kicks it to the three point shooter. Rattles around, Straight doesn't up. go down. Offensive rebound. Natali with the hand up. A Carabello finds Stako. Stako to Stackhouse. Stackhouse bobbles it. Stackhouse somehow, with a little press to digitation, gets it out. Stackhouse takes it baseline. He somehow got that out to Carabello. Bounces it into O'Shea. O'Shea pulls it back out. No reason to rush with 5.34 on the clock. Knights can set up their offense and look for a good shot. They have a 13 point lead. Another wow. one in the stake house. O'Shea, did you see that? Another assist Damn, for Jason O'Shea. Nice. 21 to 6. Right now, everything going the way of the Morris Hills Knights. One can only hope that they sustain that, unless you're Paula Hood to my right with her hand or forearm on my shoulder. I looks need like rest. looks like her <laughs> proximal radius resting on me a, yes. my acromion process. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, look it yeah, up in Netter's really Anatomy with 5:07 yeah, yeah. on the clock. Knights with three touchdowns. Yes. Mount all have missed the extra point. It's 21 to six. Stackhouse pressure in the backcourt, spins around, gets it to O'Shea. Like Stackhouse has never seen that before. Oh, Carabello strong. Stakos wide open. God help him if the outside shots start going down. 21 to 6. Man Olive has it. Hood takes it down low. Guarded by O'Shea. Strong move by Hood. He misses. He gets it back and he draws the foul. It looks like Carabello or O'Shea. Stay tuned. Number 5, the Department of Defense. Chris Carabello picks up his first. Yes. The long arm of the law, Brandon Hood at the free throw line. He makes the first one. The extra point is good as Billy Morin checks back into the game for the Knights with 4.41 to go. Uh, a miss on the second one. Ball was deflected out of bounds by the knight, by, check that, yeah, by the knights. All right, I got a little tongue-tied and mystified on that one, but as they take a page out of Walt Clyde Frazier's vocabulary. 
Nice speed from Warren to Stako. Stakos kicks it back out to O'Shea. O'Shea surveys the territory, gets it back out to Carabello. Carabello, Stakos, Carabello. Carabello drives, takes it in. They wide open from the paint. Moore is just a little short. Crevacore got his hands on that, but he was climbing up Brandon Hood's back. As a little of the number 34 from Brandon Hood rubs off on the sternum of Corey Crevacore. The 414 on the clock. The Marauders have it trailing by two touchdowns. Inside the hood, deflected away. Loose ball. Who has it? I can't tell. Jump ball. This one should belong to the Knights. As Kevin Cassidy, early in the game, tied up his man. That's the last jump ball that I can recollect. But then again, my recollections aren't so successful, are they? 3.59 on the clock, 21-7. There's an open look from three. Planks off the back of the iron, but a rebound by Hood. Hood back out. This three is no good. Morin fighting for the ball. Morin grabs the rebound. Carabello, he has Cassidy. Cassidy was running the floor. He couldn't quite get it out to him. Might have been screened by a defender. Instead, he floats it up, and he, oh, no love from the basketball gods as the little gremlin inside the cylinder knocks it back out. Three and a half to go in the half. The Knights lead, 21-7. Another three-pointer, and this one's no good. There we go, and Cassidy finds Stakos! Groovy, baby, as Austin Powers Stakos knocks it in. What a find by Cassidy who gets credit for the assist. 23 to seven with 3.06 to go. As I apologize, I missed a John 3.16 10 seconds ago. Ball's deflected out of bounds by Stakos. As everybody on. This is unbelievable. Right now, my heart goes out to Paula Hood. Your heart don't gotta go out to me. My, my heart's gotta go out to Brandon. My heart goes out to Brandon Hood, the long arm of the law. Yeah. <laughs> All's fair in love and war. Ladies and gentlemen, this is war. Did he play with uh, Sammy? Number 34, Brandon Hood. Number five, Christopher Carabello. And number four, Sam Stackhouse. All our teammates on the New Jersey Thunder AAU team. Carabello breaks down the backcourt pressure and gets it to O'Shea. O'Shea tries to flip it to Cassidy. Just a little bit high and out of bounds. And Mount Olive will have it. Retitas will inbound the ball for the Marauders. 2.46 to go. In the half. Good defense by Stakos as the Knights have come out with a purpose in the first half tonight. Bertitas drives the lane. He'll go to line. Morin did a good job trying to draw a charge, but they call a blocking foul, and Bertitas will go to the line for two. As he looks to cut into a 16 point deficit. Good job. First one is good, 23 to eight with two and a half on the clock. As Paula Hood is leaning hard on my right deltoid. So <laughs> much so much so as Rakita strains a second that I'm engaging every single muscle in the lateral trunk. O'Shea to the basket, too strong off the glass and Hood has it for the Marauders. That's all, folks. 2.14 on the clock. Whoa! O'Shea with his... Yes, O'Shea forces a turnover. Stakos comes up with it. As I push a little back on Paula and reposition, because my tuchus is sore, O'Shea, oh, he gets called for the walk. As I reposition once more. 23 to 9. Mm -mm -mm. Stackhouse back into the game for the Knights. Stackhouse, Carabello, Morin, O'Shea, and Cassidy. There you 
get it inside. Oh, it was intended for Hood, but knocked away by Cassidy. Mount Olive has it back. 139 on the clock. They drive in, kick it out to number five. Stackhouse runs with them. There's an open look. No good. Stackhouse with a rebound as he skies high into the atmosphere. Warren! Oh! The Knights are just a little too strong when they finish at the rim. 23 to 9, though. 110 to go, Carabello. The DOT forces a pass. And then Hood jockeys for position down low. They get it to him, guarded by Cassidy. A beautiful move as he tucks his shoulder, knocks his teammate over, and Cassidy Rex rolls it in. 25 to 11. Hood was hustling back on the defensive end as he saw Cassidy wide open, but he ran into number one, who floats it in over Carabello, 25 to 13. Come on, Full court pressure by the Marauders, but O'Shea is able to beat the pressure and he draws contact. Are you kidding me? That'll be the second team foul on the Marauders and the second personal foul on number 24, Billy Bertitas. As number 24, Skylar Cotton into the game for the Knights. Stackhouse to Morin. Stick with your man. Morin across court. Cotton has it. Cotton. Bada bing, bada bang. Call Roto Rooter because he drained it. Call Roto Rooter. That's the name and he'll knock that bucket down the drain. 7, 6, 5, 28 to 13. Two seconds. The scoop shot is no good as Morin throws it into the rafters and we go to halftime with a 28 to 13 lead for the Mars Hills Knights. See you in the second half on the other wow. side.